Good morning, I'm outside with 3PO. He's got a stick. Uh, he's gonna chew on it, I guess. Uh, but <laughs> I wanted to share something that I thought of today. Um, 3PO went on a walk and there's like a field, so he ran through a bunch of tall grass. And <laughs> he came back and because everything is still wet because it rains so freaking much the last couple days, his paws were wet. So I was drying his paws and as I was doing that, he rolled over on his belly. And I've only ever had big dogs. So I've never experienced this, but his belly was soaking wet from the grass, which is so weird to me. Um, and I was just thinking, in the winter, when we have snow, it's going to be the most ridiculous thing ever. And I hope he likes the snow, because I want him to jump around like a freaking bunny. And it's going to be awesome. Or kangaroo, because he's a kangaroo. Um, and I just wanted to... I wanted to share that little tidbit of information that when he walks through anything that's not completely shortcut grass, his belly gets wet. <laughs> Silly dog, I'm exploring. Or a boat, or a plane, an airboat, or an airboat. Or an airship, like in and Final Fantasy. Sort of Hawaii, and you can see by the music they're playing. Yeah. The witch is now over. All right, let's get serious. We're on a plane. We're going to Quebec. Again. Instead of driving, <laughs> we're going to fly. Why are we going to Quebec? Um, Tim Hortons has invited us to be part of a focus group. Focus groups. Focus groups. Fiscal responsibility. <laughs> that is an in-joke from a VidCon video we made with Greg in 2012? 12? Or 13? I think 12. Uh, I don't know. But the window's really nice. I like when it's all blown out to white. But now you're dark, and now you're light, and now it's white, and then I zoom out, and then it's dark, and now you're dark, and then I go over, and now it's white, and it's white, and I zoom in, and it's dark, and now you're dark. That's how auto exposure works. <laughs> You knew that years ago. <laughs> Spending some quality alone time with 3PO. He's pretty tuckered out. <laughs> we just went for a walk and he's so good, guys. I guess while he was in the foster home, uh, the foster mom has like five dogs at a time. Um, so she just has a really big yard and lets them in there and doesn't take them for walks very often. Um, so he's not used to walks. And he did so good. We've only, we take him for a walk every morning and every evening before it gets dark. Um, and he was pulling a lot and he has pretty much given that up, which is awesome. Uh, he's still a little scared of cars driving by, but other than that, he's freaking perfect. He's so good. Just, just a gem. Uh, and now he's all tuckered out. We played some ball in the backyard. Uh, he doesn't really return the ball yet. If he really wants you to throw it again, he'll sort of bring it back. He like brings it in your direction in like a little radius. <laughs> it's like it's like half a meter radius around you. He'll bring it there and then just kind of like wait for you to grab it from him. Uh, and he's usually pretty good with that. Uh, so, and then once he doesn't care anymore, he just walks away. And you can throw it all you want. And he's like, nah, I'm not gonna get that. Uh, but he's such a sweetheart. I just got locked out of my room. <laughs> like, just right. I got the camera, and I was walking to my room. <laughs> to go vlog a thing, and I shoved it, and I'm locked out of my room. So our rooms are connected. Here's Corrado's room. There's my room. I could go to the hall. But guess what? I wandered in here, not wearing any socks, no <laughs> wallet, no phone, no room key, no ID. Uh, that's so funny. No ID. Don't have any hotel information. I'm gonna go to the front desk and ask for a freaking room key at midnight. Looking forward to doing that right now. This dog is a stone cold killer at heart. He's watching the flies at the lights right now. <laughs> and he's, he's just wrapped with attention. Where did he go? Where did he go? He literally walked over there, yeah. sat down, and he's just like, where is it? <laughs> What are you doing? He's following it. What you doing, Thrape? Where'd they go? Oh, did you see him? Are they there? I went to pick up Brianna 
which means the dog was alone by himself for the first time. And we basically told him not to sit on couches, and he still does sometimes. But we came back, and I looked in the window, and he was sitting on the table. <laughs> he was not sitting on the couch, because he's not supposed to go on the couch. But we've never told him not to sit on that. And it's much closer to the window. He was like licking my hand, but he was not taking his eyes off the fly, so he's like... <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> oh, you're so silly. The gunner room key, but it's not good, man. It's not good. I've already done this. Okay, so I opened the room, but I locked my room. Because <laughs> I was in my room. And I just locked. I lock rooms when I enter them. Oh, I just that's I do. So funny! You put the latch. Yeah, the latch is here. Come look. So that's the latch, and I can't get in from your room because it's just. This, I don't. I don't know how to get into my room. Um, I can probably do it. It's pretty locked, man. I had so much stuff to do. Spent half an hour and I have no hotel room, which is fun for everyone except for me. And I'm not a patient person and I get anxious really easily, so love not having answers. But hey, we're doing a bunch of buffer festival work. Corrado writes in a different language, <laughs> no one can understand his writing. Apparently, some of this information is for. for oh, oh, is that my room? Never mind. Hang on. I'll be right back. This is what happens at 2 o'clock in the morning when you take 3PO out to pee before bed. He just starts tracking things. I don't know what he's after, but there's a bug over there. Buddy! 3PO finally went to the bathroom, and he is now in his room. Uh, Corey's not here tonight, so we'll see how this goes. We're trying it out. We're gonna see how he does by himself in the room. Hopefully he doesn't wreck anything. We'll see. Experiments, guys. There's first time for everything. Uh, but I'm also going to go to bed because I need to get up and let him out and take him for a walk. So we'll see you all tomorrow. I hope you had a great day and have a great night. This is so off topic. Okay, it's been an hour. <laughs> they have to... There, there's no way. Like, I, I thought they had like a stick. There's no, no, because you have to completely close the door to unlock it. Ah. And they, unless they had a weird Zed like, but I don't know, so they had to break the lock on. <laughs> they like brought a bunch of tools and like just like hacked at it and broke off the lock. So my room doesn't have a lock. But hey, we have two rooms. Okay, back on topic. I'm lacking a lock, that's but like, that's okay. You know. I really hope I don't have to pay for that. I might have to pay for that. Anyways. Well, he broke it, not you. So I, we keep you around. <laughs> Need to figure out the Friday. That's this Friday, right? Yes. The Friday, Saturday, and Sunday screenings for Buffer Festival. Three theaters. 10, 2, no, 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8. 12, 2, 4 on Saturday. And 12, 2, 4, 6, 8 on Sunday. Uh, the reason Saturday is so short is because uh, Saturday night is the red carpet gala. So we started at the end, and we're kind of working our way backwards. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of there's there's a lot of YouTubers coming to Buffer Festival, who you know don't get their own show. Uh, that happened last year. That happens this year. That actually probably happen more and more each year. And so we've got to figure out like who gets a show versus like who can be a part of a show. Uh, and so it looks like we're kind of cutting it in the middle, where there's 40 screenings, about 20 of them will just be uh, YouTubers who get their own show. Um, so like Shay Carl has like a Shay Tard show, or, or Charles Chippy has a CTFXC show, or Jack and Finn have a Jack's Gap show. You get it. And then the other 20 shows are like themed shows or genre shows. And a little bit differently from last year, with the themed shows or the genre shows, we're just going to tie a ton of YouTubers into that show. So we're going to do like a Canadians, last year we did the Canadians A screening, and it was hosted by me and Tim Deegan. This year, the Canadians, a screening, will bring all the Canadians, like all of them. Um, and so then there's all kinds of YouTubers who can go and be a part of a screening. And then if you go to that screening, you can see a bunch of YouTubers who are there and see their videos, uh, even if those YouTubers don't get a screening. 
um, because not everybody can get screenings because we can't have a hundred screenings. I wish we could, maybe one day we will. But uh, yeah, and so we're gonna do like a British show. Uh, so all of the Brits that are coming, they can all, because not all of them can support having their own shows, but they make incredible content and their guests have buffer. So we have a show and then they all go to that show. And we have a bunch of other shows. There's a daily vloggers show. Mm -hmm. So there's daily vloggers that can't support their own show. We get to be a part of the daily vloggers show. You can go to the daily vloggers show. And then it's a way to kind of tie in all the YouTube guests and put them all in and share all the best content and make it all work in 40 screenings. Um, but the other challenge, I'm laying in your bed, I just realized. <laughs> the other challenge is to make sure that we're not putting on similar types of shows in the same block, right? This is so obvious, but like we wouldn't have a Charles Trippie show on at the same time as a Shay Carl show. But it's not just that, but it's that before, or no, sorry, after a screening is a meetup. So if Shay has a 90 minute show and then that's followed by Shay's meetup, we need to make sure that not only during Shay's show, uh, you, we don't have similar types of shows, but also in the window, the block after that, like I went to Shay's show and then Charles Trippie's in the next two hour block, but that's when Shay's meetup is. So, so Shay, if you're a fan of Shay, that's actually two blocks, a screening block followed by a meetup block that nobody else who has similar audiences to Shay mm -hmm. can do anything. And, but then that also has to apply to Charles Trippy and Wheezy Waiter and Charlie McDonald and Epic Mealtime and Jack Scap and Bertie Gilbert and a lot of other people. We have a lot of guests. <laughs> Owen Rogers. Owen Rhett Rogers. Um, uh, all of the Brits that are coming. Uh, we're trying to do a Nerd Fighters screening. Uh, Hank Green almost could make it, but then couldn't make it. And so uh, we asked for his blessing on doing a Nerd Fighters screening, and he said that it made him cry very ugly tears that he wouldn't be able to attend that, but thinks that we should have a Nerd Fighters screening and wants to support it. So we're gonna have a Nerd Fighters screening, which is really exciting. So it's like we wouldn't have a Nerd Fighters screening on at the same time as. Wheezy Waiter or Charlie McDonald, because those guys are very clearly nerd fighters. So we gotta like put nerd fighters on at the same time as shows that are radically different for every line. It's like a puzzle. It's like a it's like, it's a, like a game of Rubik's Sudoku. Cube. It's a it's a matrix. It's a Sudoku. Yeah. It is like Sudoku a yeah. little bit, but you're dealing with people and audiences instead of numbers, <laughs> and it, everything needs to make sense. And we've been thinking about it for a while, but just set setting on what exactly the 40 screenings are going to be, uh, that's done. That's locked. The 40 are decided. So that's not going to change. And that can't change. Uh, and, and, and people are you going to add more? Uh, the answer has to be no. Because imagine, let's say you buy pre-sale tickets, or just tickets in general, and we put up the schedule, and you look at the schedule and be like, okay, I'm going to go to this, and I'm going to go to this, and I'm going to go to this. And you get those tickets, and you have those tickets, and you've got everything all figured out. And then we go like, oh, hey, uh, three weeks later, hey, here's some new screenings and some new YouTubers. It ruins everything. You guys, even if it's good news, would be furious. Because it's like, I bought tickets to blah, 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 and I'm going to that, but now there's a new thing. I didn't know that, and I wouldn't have got that if it were for that, right? So we have to launch the whole schedule and not, and not change it. Have no choice. So do that last. It's, it's always got to be like that. Yeah. It has to. There's no other way. So yeah, the schedule is launching tomorrow, and then it can't change. And Crowder and I are working out on the plane, and then I hurt my finger real bad. There's a bit of blood. There will be blood. And now we're gonna go to sleep and wake up and hang out with Tim Hortons. Focus groups. And then go home. The shortest trip. <laughs> Spend more time in the hallway sitting than uh, than I did in Montreal. Uh, I th yeah, I think we're in Montreal for less than 24 hours. Yeah. Oh yeah. We landed at 10 p.m. We're leaving at like 2 p.m. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> this is a business trip. Definition of a business trip. Uh, oh, well, it's, it's fun. I'm yeah, it's, be here. it's exciting. No, it's good. great. I, I'm totally honored. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep in my room, which is this way. Okay. And uh, you should you should say good night. Well. Good night. You be daily vlogs. I 
I want them in my subscription box I wonder who might drop by Even though sometimes it's Canada outside so don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey, hey, hey